Hello and welcome to this Zero AD Empire's Ascendant. Today we will be viewing a replay of a multiplayer game by or between Octavio and Alistair. That's me. Now we're, it's a mirror matchup, Romans versus Romans. The Romans take a little while to get going, but once they do, and once they can get the siege units out, that's, that's when it starts. Uh, that's when the Romans start, that's their peak time. Sending out, and he gets another cav early. Which I thought was a good strat. It's something I've done before, but then I see saw other people not do it, so I don't know. I think still maybe getting those five women straight up is a good thing to do. He gets it the very next thing, but uh, they're just so fast at collecting from animals. Like, incredibly fast. Oh, we might lose one here to a lion. Good micro. Next batch of women going on wood. And on the other side. Got one elephant. I got these elephants right nearby to start with, which was quite good. Where is my horse? Surely it's, um, collecting from... Oh, I think I actually lost my... Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> I thought maybe perhaps I lost it to an elephant. Pretty uh, default start. A little bit of micro to save my HP on the slingers. Are they slingers? Skirmishers. Slingers are on uh, Britons. I think it is. Not sure exactly what I'm doing there. Something. Getting that storehouse down early for uh, for the wood is good. For the wood is good. Five skirmishes coming out for Octavio. Rearranging the ladies. I like what he's done with the storehouses. You see he's got one on the very edge of where he could build on one side and one on the very edge of where he could build on the other side. Like to get this stuff and... I don't know, it's just... I just like that I'm not, and I'm not entirely certain why. But it's a good idea. I think, I think that's just good. Whereas I've just put one next to the metal. I'm going for metal already? Why? 
Yeah, my build is trash in this game. I, I hadn't played for a while and I came back and I kind of was trying a few new things. And, uh, yeah, it didn't, it didn't turn out so well. <laughs> why, why, why am I getting, why, I don't, for some reason I, I decided I needed, um, needed that. I wasn't confident in my late game micromanagement, that's what it was. I thought I'll get ladies on now, then I don't have to worry about it later, I can just do other things. You see, I've got one over here. that's, you know, I kind of follow that same principle. I should have put it here though, I don't know why I put it over there. <laughs> that's a bit silly. Um, hmm. Barracks coming out. I'm pop capped. Already going into farms. to build one more house. That's probably the next thing he's going to do. There it is. He's noticed. Whereas I'm going much better for early population. My early game was really good. Apparently. <laughs> That's the thing, I never transition into the late game. I can transition into the middle game. I just don't know what to do in the late game. Need some more research. ones to get. Yeah, my early game's going wild down here. I don't think about my building placement enough. I just plop things down. Oop, time to plop another thing down, so I plop another thing down. I need more care with my arrangements. Building arrangements. Hmm, early town phase. It's good. Hmm, right, yeah, that, that helped him out a lot, I think. Just being able to get to town phase. He can easily catch up on um, population with a barracks.
Interesting. Hmm. I didn't micro my ladies onto farms enough. I was too busy trying to get my horses all over the place. I was thinking I could subsist entirely on food resources gathered from horses, but that only lasts so long. It lasts quite a while on this map, but you still need to have farms ready. There's just some point here where I just crash out. And he starts ballooning. I assume. <laughs> I haven't actually seen the replay of it. I mean, I know what happened. But, uh... Like, it did seem like it was pretty big in that late phase. Whether or not that means that he won is another thing entirely. Upgrades, yeah, okay. Servants and Wedge and Mallet. Interesting. Oh no, servants is just, uh, that's not slave. I'm thinking of slaves. <laughs> that's, uh, something else. Finally, I get to the town phase. His population way caught up. Almost entirely. going now. Yeah, he's almost entirely caught up. He has, in fact, overtaken. Just enough food to constantly create, whereas I don't quite have it up to that point yet. I have plenty of everything else. Just not enough food. some reason. I don't know why. I just decided to build out over to that direction. Mm. 
There's just all sorts of stuff happening and not happening. I really... Mm, I did not play this one well at all. <laughs> at least... I didn't at the start here. He's got defense towers and everything. champion units. <laughs> Just going straight into that. Interesting. He's got, I guess, that's his second market. He's got another one over here, doesn't he? No. It's his first market. Probably just so that he could get to three. Yeah. He even bartered for it. Really wants to get to that three. So that he can, yeah, because that's the big problem with the Romans, is how long it takes to get to siege units, which is the only thing they have that's powerful, really. Interesting. focus a lot on early game defense which he has a bit there with the towers hmm. yeah I've discovered a good way of learning how to play zero AD we do host a lobby wait for somebody to jump in a 1v1 lobby and then uh, and you say oh what civilization do you want I say, oh, Romans. And then you say, good, I will also go Romans. <laughs> and then you see what happens, and then you watch the replay afterwards. They're probably somebody who knows how to play Romans. That's why they're doing it in multiplayer. So you just check out the kind of things they do. What things did they do that were better than what you did? What things did they do that weren't as good? Like Octavio's early game, in terms of population increase was a bit in the um but his game now he's already at town what is it the whatever phase it is city city phase i guess it would be wouldn't it yeah town city um yeah no he's well ahead now getting the i guess that's a oh another civic center right getting his first expansion down which I've yeah I've just done yeah looking to set up a trade route between a dock and a uh, market over here bit of scouting just more expansion just getting further and further out he was very good at that his territory is huge I just, yeah, you just need that level three for the territory increase because yuck. And maybe he upgraded something for territory as well. I don't know. He's 
got so much of it. Look at this. He's really set himself up to get all of the resources. Here's mid games. It, it was really good. I'm still in the early game. So what's that you're building down? Yeah. Barracks to get these units. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Just expand. Expand over the map. I don't know why it took me so long to get to level 3. Not realising quite how important it is to gain territory. Just trying to build all the little fancy buildings. Got plenty of population capacity, but not so much in terms of population. Whereas his population is about equal to his capacity, but his overall population is greater. So, you know. Ugh. Have my trade route set up. My initial trade route. Just all of these units everywhere, just collecting resources. It's incredible. Another civic center. By the looks of no, that'd be a yep, no, another civic center. Some dark clouds, clouds in fog of war. Clouds should not be affected by fog of war. It doesn't matter if you see what clouds are over the enemy, you know. They shouldn't go black like that, it looks weird. <laughs> Finally, uh, I have reached the city phase. Whereas this guy's just reached all of the phases. He's all over the place. What's he gonna do with those? Hmm. Wow, that's a very inefficient, but okay. You only really need three <laughs> workers to build a building. The other guys can be collecting wood or doing anything else, doing something, you know. Nitpicking. Another civic center. Loves him, this guy. Loves him. Why not? They are OP. As long as you can protect them all. As long as you can quick enough to ring the bell or whatever. Garrison units inside. You don't want the enemy to just come and take all of your civic centers. That would be bad. Yeah, when you're building a civic center, that's when you want a lot of units, I guess. So yeah, that's fair enough. I was just getting ready for that later on to do that. Hmm. So much wood, but not... Yeah, he needed to build more farms. He had enough farms for the early game, and now he's got nowhere near enough farms. I haven't got enough farms either, mind you. I have one, only one extra. I'm building a wonder. Why am I building a wonder? <laughs> I just wanted to build everything. I thought, oh, if I have a wonder, my population... 
capacity will be higher later on. It's like, I don't need any, any more population capacity. What am I doing? Setting up for this late game that I'm never going to be able to get to if I don't have enough food. Like, wow. Watching over this replay again, I really just, ugh. Let's watch this guy instead. He knows what he's doing. Well, he will know what he's doing once he gets one more farm set up. <laughs> see, now he knows what he's doing. You see? I mean, I have that, that only with the benefit of hindsight. He has that with the benefit of, like, while he's playing. That's not a benefit. That's just while he's playing. Like, that's good. That's, you know. Another civic center. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> The Civic Centers, this guy set up for such a late game. Romans versus Romans, if you both know actually how to play it, would be such a good matchup. The games would be huge. Just Civic Centers all over the place. It'd be a battle of resources at that point. I mean, you get a big enough battle in this match, but not, not on the scale of uh, people with perhaps a higher number here beside their names. Of uh, a few clouds there. I'll just here we go. <laughs> Guy just casually walking. He is not in any kind of hurry at all. That fella. Crocodiles. Catapult thingies. Are they... what are... Ballista. Yeah, that's right. Okay. terrible but uh, I've got my hero taking down the siege units at least
Yes, this is where it all began. The battles. What's that on there? Shields. And a ram's head. It's literally a battering ram. Wow. That's great. It's great that it is literally a battering ram. <laughs> I love that. I'm here trying to destroy one of these with just men for some reason. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, the shadows are doing some weird things up there. It doesn't expect me to have the camera like this. Um, there we go. That's funny. Well, there's one there. I guess maybe the default camera is probably about, um, oops. About there or something. Yeah, because you don't see those bugs. <laughs> going up. I've got a temple going up here that's attempting to rebuild that. Horses coming in. More catapults. None, none of his things are out here anymore. Everything is up at the river where the trees are. His resources are going bonk right now. Why are they doing that? Attack the... those! What... What's this? I have only swordsmen as well. Why is that? Let's just ignore the last one. Whatever. Oh no, battering rams. Get the catapult first, what are you doing? <laughs> oh dear. No, my priests.
Another Civic Center coming out. Wow, he's just, he's everywhere, this guy. Does he know about my other expansion? Yeah, he does. His population quite a ways ahead at this point. Going straight for the civic centers. But I have too many swordsmen chopping away. has some ladies here attacking my temple, which is uh, very efficient. Taking down the catapults, but he's now has so many units. Oh, I've got some more horses coming out. That's something. Draw him back over to the stuff. this. He's all the way up in it. Oh, got my hero coming back into action. He's not healed up though. So he will go down quickly. <laughs> because I am not micromanaging him in any way, shape or form. Five in there and five in there. And five in there. Yeah, I still... Uh. <laughs> it's good. It's well done. Good job. Was my last resort. Another defense tower coming up. Big congregation occurring. We are congregating, coalescing. Just slowly pushing with sentry defense towers. Just causing havoc at this point, just everywhere.
whittling my population down quite a ways now. He has all of the wood in infinity. More siege catapult ballistas coming out. My trade route is all dead. Except for one. Civic Center about to go down. Just two minutes. Look, this is why the Romans are good in the late game. Just catapults. He hasn't decided whether he wants to destroy it or take it over, but that's fine. At this point, you just do anything really. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> you can see what's going to happen from this point, I imagine. And at this point I've decided, ah, uh, well, it won't take much longer to happen, so I'll let him have his fun with us and destroy every, every, everything. Which he, in fact, 100% super does. I mean, <laughs> these siege units... devastatingly powerful. One last stronghold here. These guys aren't even fighting, they're just collecting resources. It's more important. <laughs> oh, no, fighting time. Fighting time. Oh, we've got some horses from somewhere. But rams are too fast at destroying everything. Literal battering ram heads. Taking over the wonder. That'll give him all of the rest of this. You just need a civic center over here and you'll have the whole thing.
Does the wonder have healing? Are they getting healed by that? No. Ah. Oh, no, that's garrison heal. What? Hmm. I don't know. Wonder heals units. Hmm. Handy. Now there's just the dock left. That's literally all there is. And these horses. you enjoyed watching Romans fighting each other. Now you know what that looks like. Roman v Roman Romans. There's that. Well, yeah. <laughs> There's that. I hope you have a good one. And peace.